Hi, I'm Andrew Martin. I'm the group publisher at CybersecurityASEAN.com and I'm here with Daniel from Stormwall at Tech Week Singapore. And Daniel's going to come over and he's telling us a little bit about what Stormwall are up to. So yes. before I get into specific questions, do you want to just give us a, like a really high level overview of who is Stormwall? Basically, we are a DDoS protection company. We, provide, we develop and we provide DDoS protection solutions. Uh, this is our special, specialization. Yeah. Uh, it's not like we do DDoS and a bunch of other stuff. We specialize on DDoS and we'd like to think we're very good at it. That's okay. the main point. So. And we're a global company. We do business everywhere. Mm. And we're now thinking about expanding our presence in the Asian region as well. Okay. That's good to hear. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dive in a little bit more on the, the DDoS part because obviously right. it's relevant. Um, so, you know, DDoS attack attacks seem like they're maybe one of the oldest type of cyber attack that, that, that there is uh, since you've been around forever. But has the approach that the bad actors use when they're doing a DDoS attack, has it evolved? Has the tech that they use changed? It uh, has evolved vastly, yeah. yes. So, For example, yeah. pretty much all the attacks are multi-vector now. Okay. They are attacking L3, L4, L7. So all of the layers are attacked. They don't care about attacking only your website. They yeah. also attack your network, everything. So you have to have a DDoS protection service that is capable of protecting all of the layers yeah. simultaneously. So we do websites, we do networks, we do everything. So we would be the, the right solution for that. And also the attacks are distributed from all over the world. And also if before the bad actors uh, use DDoS as a mean to ransom, mm -hmm. like for example, give us your money and we will bring your services back online. Yeah. Now they don't care anymore. They just want to, they want your site, your network to go down. Mm. Because a lot of those actors, they're a sort of hacktivists, as they call them. Yeah. And uh, based pure on, sorry to say, geopolitical agenda, mm -hmm. they might be willing just to bring your resource down. They don't care about the money. Yeah. And it's way harder to communicate with these guys because before you can just pay off and that's it. Yeah. Now it's like they don't even care anymore. So About you have to be protected and your protection solution has to work on all the levels. Mm. And it has to have something against botnets as well. So you have to have a WAF in place for sure mm. for your web applications. So web applications are in danger and all of the attacks are multi-vector now. Yeah. So this is the this is the this is the the trend right now. And it, is it is it sometimes the case that the like, because you were saying, you know, like it could be a hacktivist or a state-sponsored, but right. it, it, can it also be the case that the DDoS attack is almost like a, a smoke screen to take your eye off the ball for something this else? This is a perfect. This yeah. is a perfect uh, point. Yeah. Thanks for bringing it up. Sometimes it's it really is a smoke screen. Yeah. For something way more sinister. Yeah. Maybe um, um, they're looking for data or stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. They're looking for breaches in your system. Yeah, DDoS might be a small screen for that for sure. Okay. Yeah, okay. and it happens all the time as well. Okay, so I know you've actually, you've covered off quite a few things about your solution already, right. but I do want to ask you specifically, because there's a lot of DDoS solutions out there. There's right. some very famous ones. Right. So are there any kind some of- Some of them. Yeah. Is there anything that's kind of unique uh, or um, leading edge about what you're doing? Well, the first thing is that we specialize on DDoS, right? Yeah. We're not like, let's say, Cloudflare or some other solutions. Yeah. They have a huge portfolio. Yeah. We have DDoS, we specialize on it, and we'd like to think we are very good at it. Yeah. We develop our own solution, we don't resell anything. The second thing is that we have seven points of presence across the globe. Okay. We don't have the, the map here. Yeah. It would be easier for me to explain, but we are all around the world. Those points of presence are data scrubbing centers. They help us. Uh, fend off attacks closer to their point of origin. Okay. So it, the attack might be distributed all over the world and we can stop it closer to when it started. Yeah. So the whole attack is not going to your service, to your web resource or whatever, to your server. We will stop it at the, at the origin. Okay. And we are all over the world. Yeah. So the load is distributed. Yeah. So we can fend off attacks up to 3.5 terabit per second. Okay. which is huge. Yeah, yeah. The biggest one I've seen is 1.5 and it's unimaginably big. But we yeah. can do up to 3.5. Yeah. Which is 
which is insane, but we can do it. Yeah. Okay. And, and I know you were saying that you, you, know, you are DDoS, yes. but I did notice on your website that you do have some other stuff, like you mentioned WAF. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So can you explain why you've got some of those other solutions? Because I guess they a part of the total defense for DDoS, is that, is that uh, correct? Sort or? of, sort yeah. of, because like yeah. for example, WAF yeah. is very good for web applications yeah. alongside DDoS. WAF and DDoS on L7, they work perfectly yeah. together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they um, what's the word? They uh, Compliment. combine, uh, complement yeah, yeah, each yeah. other, thank you yeah. very much, yes. So if you have DDoS on L7, at L7 you would like to have WAF as well, and the other way around. Yeah. There's a little bit of WAF in DDoS and a little bit of DDoS in WAF. Yeah. But if you combine them, now that's where you get really uh, powerful protection on L7. Yeah. L7. And uh, CDN, and we have VDS, VPS, we have yeah. hosting as well. Yeah. Uh, some additional services that we provide as well. Yeah. But the main thing is DDoS, is and it, we'd like to keep it this way. Is the DDoS Yes. Right? Okay, excellent. So listen, it's been... Um, a really nice insight into what you do. I think my last question for you though is obviously you're here at Tech Week uh, Singapore. So what are you hoping to get out of being at the show? We are mainly looking for partnerships, for affiliates, for integrators, for MSSPs let's say, for partners of any kind yeah. who could be willing to resell our, our solutions locally. We have a partner portal that's white labeled yeah. so you can sell our solution as your own and you can say that you developed it, nobody would know. Um, and basically, partnerships for the most part. We're not looking for end customers here. Yeah. Partnerships, and I've seen a lot of MSSPs here as well. Yeah. I've been cruising around. And also, the, the cloud part is huge for us as well. Yeah. And cloud providers are very big uh, uh, partners of ours as well, because we protect networks as well, yeah. and they, they need their network protected at yeah, all times. Absolutely, yeah. So that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. And uh, I was told that this year, it's way bigger than last year. Mm -hmm. It was quite quiet last year. I'm saying that I, I, I'm being said that this year it's big and, I, and I'm really glad, I'm really happy that we picked this year in particular to come in. And um, I couldn't sit down for the whole day. I mean, yeah. it's, it's huge. It's excellent. So and listen, a big kudos to the organizers. Yes. Yeah. So listen, I hope the, the rest of the week goes really well for you. Thank you. And I appreciate you coming to uh, explain a little bit more about Stormwall to us. Thank you so nice much. Nice to man. meet you. Then. Thank you. Bye bye. Cool.